Um, all right, well, let's move on to some rules. And yesterday on um, Gus's, Gus's podcast mm. this week, he said that um, the offside rule, he thinks that the NRL needs to change it to seven or eight metres um, to put the brakes on the injury toll so players aren't getting as much momentum. The impact speed. aren't as strong, mm. yeah. Yeah, there's merit to that for sure. But if we did lower the, the 10 metres, we'd have to quicken the ruck mm. because... Um, teams over the past 20 years have cheated at the ruck. It's as simple as that. They've wrestled and they cheat and they slow the play of the ball down, which gets the defensive line set. So they're coming forward at speed. Someone's running at speed, so the collisions are greater. Um, but if the play of the ball speed played uh, was at the same speed as it, it is now, it's quickened up definitely with the six to go, um, the scores would be 8-6. Mm. There'd be no attacking footy because teams would just suffocate. You see it in rugby union where they're not a pass. Yeah. They just fly up. Mm. It's one pass footy. It'd mm. be catch, one pass, maybe one pass, and the defence would be on you. I don't know, really know what it is, um, but the big one is the, t the tackling techniques somehow have to change. Mm. The big one for me, and I've been harping on it for years, is that the third man coming in at the legs. It is the most cheapest shot Players cannot see it coming, but once again, it's the tackle technique where they catch them, they absorb the runner, they hold them up, and when they hold them up, they wait a couple of seconds, the player comes in, yeah. takes the legs away, then they gradually put him to the ground. So it's a 6-7 play of the ball, second play of the ball, so the defence is set. Then as a first receiver, as a halfback, as you get the ball, they're three metres in front of you. It's just the third man in has to stop. And I've been so vocal about it, and I've spoke to the powers that be, and we've seen injuries. The Liam Knight one last year was criminal. Mm. The way he got hit from behind and destroyed everything in his knee. If there's two people in the tackle, two players in the tackle, and the momentum has stopped, there should not be a third person be able to come at the knees. And how we referee that, we have a pocket referee with no whistle, who controls the ruck, comes in and manages the ruck, the main referee has the decisions all the time on foul play, 10 metres, that sort of stuff. But we need extra help for the main referee to control the ruck mm. and to stop this third person going in at knees. What's There's the, too many injuries. What's the response when you speak to the powers that be about it? I think it? they understand. They I think they understand it. I speak to people, referees, mm. um, about it. I think they're all, they all agree on it. It's just dangerous. I hate it. Hate so it. that's one thing that you want to see improvement on. If you could change one rule in the NRL, um, are there any? Are there any that you'd change? Well, the third man in. That's the that's technique of it all. No, I think the, the game's in a really good spot yeah. at the moment. I, the, the, the quality of the games have been great, oh, it's and been I applaud the six to go. When the six to go came in, I was sceptical on it, but I think they've found the happy medium. I think they'll give them out like free beer there mm. for a while. Um, but no, I think at the moment, I've got to applaud the referees, the way they're managing the game. Not too many penalties. On average, there's around 10 or 12 penalties. I have a look at it. And around four or f three or four, six to go to each team. So the game's flowing. The product's better. Mm. We're just going to sort out the ruck. The ruck. third man in does my head in. Number one on Joey's hit list. Yeah. All right. And then what, so just, yeah. and then what we've had, a byproduct of the third man in, Players now go into contact and then they turn to look for the third man coming in, which is brings that crusher Very into play. Now they're trying to eradicate the crusher, but it's happening because players are turned. Yeah. Like the attacking players are getting himself into the position, and because of the jujitsu and the wrestling, they get in that tight, they cannot escape. And once again, we're going to have serious neck injuries. Mm. Someone's going to break their neck. It's, it's a miracle that we haven't had a serious neck injury from the crusher tackle. Because some of them, you see them get in that position. Oh, honestly, makes my skin crawl watching it. It's awful. 